And we now enter Belfast Lanyon Place, which is named after Victorian architect Charles Lanyon and was previously called Belfast Central Place. There is a ticket box up here ahead to the right and there's also a cafe and a Starbucks inside the station. Here you can see to the right the ticket box. And our train today is a 4000 class diesel multiple unit 420 which can reach speeds of 90 miles per hour or 140 kilometers per hour and has three to six carriages and our stops along the way today along this coastal route are one york gate and mosley west then we go to antrim ballymena culbacky balmoney Colrain, castle rock ballerina and then Dur Derry city and the time takes around two hours and five minutes an adult single one-way ticket costs 14 pounds but for example we got a link ticket here which gave my train journey unlimited travel on this train so for example if you're going to the Giants Causeway and you wanted to get off at Antrim you could get back on go to Derry have a return all for 18 pounds so I recommend the iLink card it can also be purchased for one day three days five days depending on the length you're staying and as we tore the train here you can see the toilets are immaculately clean and the carpet was unbelievably clean. It's a credit to Northern Irish rail staff to keep the train this clean. And here we have a two person seating position with padded seats. And I must say, there's a headrest in the back, and I must say, the comfort was unbelievable. Also, the seats offered great leg room, and as I said, they're very comfortable train was also spotless clean as I already said already and credit to Northern Irish Rail. As you can see the seats here in purple are designated for elderly and persons with disability. And the two person seat in position here is a fold down tray. There's also overhead luggage storage and a large luggage storage as I said can be found inside the carriage. And here we can see USB charging can be found at the back of the two person seating and in the front of the four person seats. And we now leave Belfast Lanyon Place. And we now approach the River Lagan which flows through Belfast and it also flows down through the Sleeve Cobb Mountains onto Belfast City Centre. And here comes into view the Samsung Goliath Gantry Cranes which is situated near the Titanic Museum and was once a famous shipbuilding yard owned by the company Harlem and Wolf. And we now approach the River Lagan Weir. Both Protestant and Catholic churches can be seen along this train route for today.
and we now approach Antrim Station for an onward journey to the Giant's Causeway and a journey I will show you again as I want to show you all the great castles, coastal routes and the rope bridge so this will take time to capture and do things right. We now approach Balamina Station. The train reaches speeds of up to 142 kilometers, or that's 88 miles per hour. As you can see, we get a light shower of rain here. You can see it across the mountains and in the background. We now enter Colrain Station. River Bond flows through the town of Colrain and is the largest in Northern Ireland. It rises in the Morn Mountains and northwest to Loch Ness. Here comes the magical view, so get ready for this spectacular scenery. And look at this coastline, all I can say is wow, and thanks to all the subscribers, enjoy the journey. Here's the Benvena mountain. It was formed 60 million years ago from molten lava and dominates the skyline overlooking Ballerina Station and Benon Beach. I hope I pronounced that mountain right. Look at this, the scenery only gets better and better. What a journey.
we're now on our approach to Derry City. And here we see the Foyle Bridge comes into view. It links the city centre to the waterside and crosses the River Foyle. And we now approach the famous Peace Bridge and don't worry I will show you some great vantage point shots on our walk around the city. Now wait for a free bus for all rail passengers to the city centre. And here it is, a bird's eye view of our bus to the city centre. And now we board our bus towards the city centre. We now stop and see the Derry Girls Muriel, which is a famous Northern Irish TV series. Now let's take a bird's eye view along the River Foyle and towards the Peace Bridge. And the Peace Bridge opened in 2011 and it links and connects Ebbington Square with the rest of the city centre. It's 235 metres. It was designed by ACOM, who also designed the Sutong Yanzi River Bridge. The Peace Bridge here provides a symbol of peace, and as the old Irish saying goes, the past or old grievances is now water under the bridge. But the murals here in the bog side remind us of the Bloody Sunday Massacre which occurred in 1972 where British soldiers shot 26 unarmed civilians in a protest march. Walking tours can be taken so you can view these murals. Now we see the Guildhall which is a historical place to visit and is steeped in history and depicts the deep rooted rivalry and history between both Catholics and Protestants. We now approach Derry City Walls, which is also steeped in history. And as you can see, cannons line the walls, as you can see here above. Now let us take a walk along the city walls. 
and the Derry city walls were built between 1613 and 1619 to protect the English and Scottish that had moved to Ulster or Northern Ireland. Also, the Irish Society, who was based in London, named the city Londonderry. So today, Protestants know the city by the name Londonderry, but the Irish used the phrase Free Derry in Irish Sir Derry. In addition, people in the Republic of Ireland also know and recognise this city as Derry. And here we stop and read some history about the city walls. So pause the video now if you need to read this. And again we see the Peace Bridge here from a different angle as we walk towards the Peace Flame Monument. And here we see the peace flame and may it burn forever. And I hope this video has inspired you to visit the lovely town of Derry and to see more great videos click the bell icon to be notified when there are these more great videos and thanks for your support. 